Good morning. Today is January the 18th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today is a day that we commemorate the Confession of Peter. Um, the four Gospels, the Acts of the Apostles, and Galatians all testify to Peter's leadership role among Jesus' disciples and in the post-resurrection mission to the Jews. In Matthew chapter 16, Peter confesses Jesus as the Messiah, and Jesus grants Peter authority in the church. From this uh, arose the tradition that Peter was the first bishop in Rome, our first bishop of Rome. Protestants interpret the rock of which Jesus spoke to be not Peter himself, but rather his confession of Jesus as the Son of God. In art, Peter is usually shown holding keys to recall the story of his receiving from Jesus the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Here's a reading from Matthew 16. Jesus said to the disciples, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father in heaven. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Let us pray. Almighty God, you inspired Simon Peter to confess Jesus as the Messiah and Son of the living God. Keep your church firm on the rock of this faith, so that in unity and peace it may proclaim one truth and follow one Lord. Your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.